Hey everybody, welcome back. Well guys, it's an old, cold, snowy, drizzly day down south and it's a good day to stay into the shop. But I want to show you something new that I got. This is an early Christmas gift from my sweet wife, Willa Jean. And she got me a new bandsaw. All right guys, so that's right, we got a new bandsaw. My sweet wife, she's tired of hearing me out here cursing the old bandsaws. You know, I had the old Tammy bandsaw that was a piece of junk. And then I got the old holiday bandsaw that was made in the 70s. You know, it was a Black Hawk. And a few couple of weeks ago, it stripped the gear out of it, the big brass, you know, worm gear in it stripped out. And so I was out here complaining and kicking it and all that. And she was kind enough to buy me a replacement, okay? So anyhow, let's get this thing opened up and see what we got. All right, here's a closer look at the box. This is a Shop Fox bandsaw, which of course, you know, is made in China like everything else now that you buy. God help us. So there it is. And on Amazon, all the reviews were good, except for a couple that complained about the stand that's underneath the saw saying it's very flimsy. And I believe I got a solution for that. We may use the stand off the uh, Black Hawk because it was very sturdy. All right, so let's go ahead and open this thing up and get all the pieces and parts out and see what we got. Okay, so we've got this thing pretty well opened up and there you can see the saw assembly basically. I took uh, the stand components out and set them to the side because like I said, I think I'm gonna try to use the stand off the Black Hawk saw because it's very sturdy. So we'll get it out here. I'm gonna get the Black Hawk saw out, what's left of it. And we'll take some measurements and compare and see what we got. All right, guys, so that worked out great, man. This thing bolted right up to this, you know, the old stand that the Black Hawk was mounted to. And this is a, this is a much more solid stand than the one that came with the saw. And remember I said earlier that the only negative reviews on Amazon for this particular saw was the stand, that it was flimsy and weak and, you know, you had a great saw but a crappy stand. And so being able to bolt this thing, you know, to a, a stand that was made in the 1970s that's much sturdier out of a heavier gauge material. That was the way to go and, and it worked out good. It only had one bolt. This one here, I had to do a little modification in there because of the switch where it mounts. Took care of that and got it done. Alright, so what's next? Alright, so let's turn this thing around here. Alright, so what's next is we need to pull the pulleys off and get the belt cover mounted on, and the pulleys back on, and the belt back on, and the tension set on the motor and all that. And I believe that's it. You know, we'll plug it in, give it a try. So let's real quick, let me, I'm gonna just put this stuff on here real quick, and then I'll bring you back, okay? All right, so guys, we're back, and we've got the cover put on, we've got the pulleys and the belt, all that's tensioned up and looking good. I've got it plugged in now, and let's raise it up and turn on the switch. Oh yeah, man, she's quiet. I like that, it's not real noisy. Let's see if the switch is gonna work. Yep, that works. Switch on, switch off, that's great. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna unplug it and we'll turn it around here and look at the back side. All right, so right here's something that I really love about this saw already is that they put a scale on the back of it here 
so you can adjust your angle, okay? Let's get it down low here. All right, and so if you want to find zero, you just come right over here, right there. So that's the zero line. And we can, you know, test that later when we make some cuts and see how accurate that scale is, okay? But that's, that's huge if it's accurate, man. I really hope it is. All right, guys, so, you know, initial impressions of it, you know, just out of the box and putting it on the old Blackhawk stand and just looking at some of the features that it has, how quiet it runs, um, you know, so far, satisfied. And we'll see, you know, we'll make some cuts with it. We're gonna get this here set and see how accurate it is. We'll make a couple of cuts on a piece of metal and just see how it cuts and see how happy we are. Alright guys, well, we made our first cut, and hey, I'm also pleased to announce that the uh, scale on the back, I checked it with my square, and dude, it's pretty darn close, man. I mean, you probably have to put a machinist square on it to maybe, well, thank you, Hank. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, boy. Yes, sir. Mr. Alright, let's try this again. So Mr. Hank, run into the camera. So, anyhow, guys, you see we just made our first cut, and it, man, it, it did good, so we'll see how it does in the future, but hey, uh, you know, I'll just do this like my smithy over there. If it's good, I'll tell you it's good. And if it ain't, I'll tell you it ain't. So, but so far, the Shop Fox, what's that number right there? 1715 is, you know, as promised. I think the best thing we did though was getting it off the original stand and putting it on the, the stand that came with the old Black Hawk. Okay, because this is a very sturdy stand. I'm happy with it. So, anyhow, this thing's working out pretty good. Mm -hmm.